Good morning. To deliver the invocation, may I present Sister Nancy Kaczmarek, Great Nun of the Sacred Heart. After the invocation, please remain standing and join in the singing of the United States and the Canadian national anthems. Sister Nancy. Let us stop, gather ourselves, be silent, quiet our bodies and our minds, and be entirely present to this graduation. God of our understanding, we come to you on this joyous day to celebrate this happy event in the lives of our graduates. We come together people at di all different ages, stages, places in our lives, carrying all our experiences and hopes, gathered here by our connection with Duval College, taking our place in the stream of its history, aware of our connectedness with one another. Creator of the human mind, which reflects your own divine one, we celebrate the gifts of knowledge, discovery, wisdom, and maturity that our graduates have deepened from the beginning, come on, from the beginning of their duval journey to this point. Nancy. Stay tuned. <laughs> we celebrate their eagerness to share what they have learned. Like St. Marguerite Duval, may they respond to the needs of their world, inspired by genuine concern for others. May they carry on the Duval tradition of generous service. We pray that they will continue to grow in wisdom and age and grace in all their lives. For ourselves, we ask the grace of presence, mindfulness, to be here right now rather than thinking of the past or of the future, to be aware of the sights, sounds, people around us, to listen to what is said to cherish each graduate, those we love and those who are strangers, joined to all of us by their jubile experience. To remember that the accomplishments of these graduates enrich us all because they enrich our world. We ask this in the name of the God of all hopefulness, eagerness, kindness, gentleness, amen.
I now declare the 109th commencement of Duvo College in session. Please be seated. At, the, <clears throat> at, this time, at this time, I would like to introduce today's stage party to you. And the stage party would please stand as your name is called. Dr. Lori Clemo, president of Devo College. Margaret Sullivan, our honored guest and keynote speaker. Dr. Jason Atzit, dean of the School of Arts, Sciences, and Education. Dr. Patricia Abbott, associate professor and event marshal. Dr. John Emershadian, past chairperson, board of trustees. Mr. Paul Bauer, emeritus member, board of trustees. Mr. Robert Bennett, member of the board of trustees. Mr. Randy Bowen, associate vice president for enrollment management. Ms. Kathleen Christie, Vice President for Institutional Advancement. Ms. Jodine Cunningham, former member of the Board of Trustees and President of the Alumni Association. Ms. Melinda Desar, member of the Board of Trustees. Dr. Maureen Finney, Dean of the School of Health Professions. Mr. John Garfoot, Vice President for Finance. Sister Nancy Kaczmarek, Grey Nun of the Sacred Heart. Dr. Judith Lewis, Dean of the School of Nursing. Dr. Canio Morasco, Dean of the School of Pharmacy. Mr. Nate Martin, Vice President for Operations. Mr. Robert Murphy, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Arup Sen, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Mr. C.J. Erlob, Chairperson, Board of Trustees. And I am Dr. John Abarno, Professor and your MC today. Thank you. This year, the President of Ewell College is authorized to confer an honorary degree upon the following candidate in recognition of notable achievement in her field. Margaret M. Sullivan will be escorted by Charles C.J. Erlob, Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Ms. Sullivan will be presented by John Emershadian, past chairperson, Board of Trustees. Duval College is pleased to honor Margaret M. Sullivan. Margaret M. Sullivan is a leading American journalist with more than 35 years experience as a print journalist, starting as a summer intern, reporter, Metro columnist, assistant city editor, the first female editor and vice president of the Buffalo News to the New York Times and the Washington Post. She has set the standard for all journalists, both female and male. After 32 years at the Buffalo News, Margaret became the first woman public editor of the New York Times, representing readers and responding to their concerns. She was selected as the media columnist for the Washington Post in 2016, a position she holds today. Arthur Salzberger, Jr., the Times publisher, said Sullivan has, quote, ushered the position into a new age. I love newspapers, books, magazines, letters, libraries, she has said. They are all a part of my life and I hope they will be for a long time. I love what they offer and what they represent. Thoughtfulness, tradition, a home for well-paid watchdog journalism, 
the utility of information that has been curated by intelligent editors, the impact of a 90-point headline, the beauty of a black and white photograph. A Lackawanna native, Margaret graduated from Narden Academy in Buffalo. A graduate of Georgetown University, she holds her master's degree from Northwestern's, Northwestern University's Medill School of Journalism. A recipient of numerous awards and honors, she has served on the Pulitzer Prize board and as the chair of their commentary jury. Margaret has been elected a director of the American Society of News Editors and led its First Amendment Committee. Earlier this year, she received the prestigious First Amendment Award from the New England First Amendment Coalition. For her inspiration to students of the written word, dedication to freedom of the press, her talent to bring to her countless readers clarity and understanding of the world about us, Duval College is honored to bestow on Margaret M. Sullivan the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honors Cosa, presented this 20th day of May in the year of our Lord, 2017, in Buffalo, New York. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Duville College and the Regents of the University of the State of New York, I do hereby confer upon the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereunto. In testimony whereof, I give you this diploma signed by an authorized member of the Board of Trustees and bearing the corporate seal of Duville College. I ask that you be invested with the hood signifying the degree. Congratulations. I am pleased to introduce our speaker this morning, ladies and gentlemen, Margaret M. Sullivan. Well, thank you so much, and I will absolutely be insisting that my family and friends refer to me as Dr. Sullivan from this moment forward. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here on your big day. It's fantastic. And uh, there's so much joy, I think, in the room, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. I want to greet um, Dr. Clemo, uh, the Board of Trustees, the deans, the members of the faculty, and of course, the graduates and your families and friends. It's a really wonderful day. I, um, I read up a little bit on graduation speeches in preparation, and I was struck by some advice, which was that graduation speeches, commencement speeches, should be uh, less like a TED talk and more like a wedding toast. So <laughs> I won't be up here for half an hour, I promise you. But I do have a couple of things I'd like to say. First of all, it's really an honor to be involved with the Duville commencement because it's such an important institution in our community. When I started proudly telling people that I was speaking today, I immediately heard my mother went there, my cousin went there, my, my, uh, you know, my best friend went there. As it happens, uh, I am a proud graduate of Narden Academy and the president of Narden, Marcia Sullivan, no relation, is here and, um, you know, that too is such an important institution in our community. So uh, as it happens, my favorite 
teacher at Narden um, a few years back was Joanne Langan. She is uh, a graduate of Duville as, and she was in the same class as my godmother, Jackie Saab Taylor. So I'm very connected to this school and certainly extremely, extremely honored to be here. It is also great for me to be back in Buffalo. The city looks amazing. Um, in bloom and um, with cranes everywhere, and it looks great. I, I feel as though it was actually my leaving here that started the resurgence, and <laughs> if I had known, I would have left earlier, I promise you. Um, it's been interesting and kind of very surreal being in Washington over the past year. Um, I spent four years in New York, finished my term at the New York Times, it is a term limited job, and went off to Washington thinking, well, it would be interesting to write a column about media, and you know, it probably would be interesting to be there when the first female president was, was in office. Um, I quickly, after coming to Washington, went to the two political conventions in Philadelphia and Cleveland, and I was struck there um, in both of those places and have been struck ever since at what a terribly divided country we live in. Um, it, is, it is upsetting and dispiriting in many ways to know that we have in some ways lost the ability to talk to each other. And uh, I have felt that very, very intensely um, I felt it at the conventions. Um, I feel it <laughs> when I write a piece and people respond to it in such extremely different ways, sometimes with appreciation, sometimes with insults and contempt. Um, it's very worrisome and it's, it's really the thing that I want to talk about today because I feel as though we need to make some kind of a move each one of us to get beyond that. Um, I ran into, I've run into some <laughs> amazing people over the past year. When I was in Cleveland at the Republican National Convention, I was of course talking to a lot of Trump delegates and I interviewed a woman whose name was Mary Sue McCart McCartney and she was absolutely wonderful. She was bubbly and she was from Dallas and she was a, you know, a true believer. And I quoted her in a piece I wrote and I sent her a link to the piece and she wrote back to me and said how much she appreciated being quoted and represented accurately. And if I ever wanted to come to Dallas, she would show me some, you know, some Texas, uh, a great Texas welcome. And, you know, that was a really nice moment. I also had a correspondence with a man from coal country in Kentucky whose name was Mitch Kennedy who was responding to a piece I wrote and telling me how disenfranchised he felt and why he was, had come to the political decisions he had come to. And we went back and forth by email. It was not very easy. It was, an un, un, it was a difficult kind of back and forth, but I think that I learned a lot and I wasn't trying to get anything particularly across to him, but there was a listening there and a, and a little bit of an understanding that I think was, was useful. And I will tell you that the best kinds of responses that I get to anything I write are when people say to me, you know, I don't agree with you and I can tell I'm, a, you know, my politics are different from yours, but I appreciate that you seem open to other points of view. And that, you know, that's a great compliment and that actually is what I wanna commend to you as we go forward, as you go forward into the lives that you're going to live. I think that we need to hold two ideas in our heads simultaneously. We need to passionately stand up for what we believe and to work for change based on those beliefs. But at the same time, we have to be very careful not to let hatred or scorn or contempt enter into the equation. And I think this is true in our personal lives with our families and friends, and also with anything we do in the community, anything that might be more public. And I, my term for this is optimistic engagement. 
We need to really care about and be authentic about what we believe and really think through it, be engaged citizens, but also understand that there are different points of view and that we can listen to them but not necessarily agree. That is really hard in real life. Um, I, f I find it to be a challenge every day. It's very hard to have people tell you, sometimes in not very nice terms, that you know, they think you're wrong and maybe kind of stupid. Um, it's, it's hard to say, which is what I try to do, you know, thank you for sharing your thoughts. Um, I understand what you're saying, but I can't agree or something like that, or you make a really good point, I'll consider it. So it's this kind of, these two different ideas that I'm hoping we can stay with. Um, I've always had little post-it notes on my desk or on my, in my workplace over the years. At times I've had, uh, uh, you know, Warren Buffett is the owner of the Buffalo News, and when I became editor of the Buffalo News, I asked him, you know, what what advice he might have, and he told me two or three things, you know, that while they might not seem profound, were pretty good guidance, and I jotted them down on a post-it note and kept it actually in a desk drawer for a while. And at the same time, I called a person who had been one of my idols growing up, Ben Bradley, the famous um, editor of the Washington Post, who has passed away now, but I called him and said, you know, I'm a new editor of a regional newspaper, and what would your advice be? And he, he did talk with me and gave me some advice, one piece of which was talking about working for the owners, who for him were the Graham family, and he said, if you want them with you on the landing, you'd better make sure they're with you on the takeoff. And I, I found that to be uh, useful as, as we wrote and publish difficult stories at the Buffalo News to always keep that communication open and keep, the, keep my boss and keep his boss informed of what we were doing. Right now I have two, two signs on my desk. Again, nothing terribly profound, but one of them says, fact check, exclamation point, are you sure? Um, and it helps me be accurate. And the other one is because I write an opinion column and I want to be true to what I believe and not be swept up in someone else's point of view, I have a little post-it that says, what do you really think? So those are my current uh, pieces of advice to myself. But I have had one over the years and I think I'm going to reinstall it. And this is really the thought that I want to leave you with. And it's from the great civil rights leader and spiritual leader, Mahatma Gandhi, who said, we must be the change we want to see in the world. And I think that's the, the message that I'd like to leave with you today, that, that you can be the change that you want to see in the world, and that in doing so, we can make small incremental changes that actually might end up being larger than we think. And the other, just the other note I wanted to make is that, you know, we all get a lot of help getting to the point that you guys are at today. You don't, you really don't get here on your own. So I want to encourage you to express the gratitude that I know you feel to your parents, to your friends, to your family members, or to your mentors, whoever they may be. Those words of appreciation and, and gratitude and thanks really go a long way. And I want to thank you for having me here today. It is a great honor. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sullivan. I am pleased to present Cindy Chin, representing the Liberal Arts Program and the English Department, who will now give the salutatory. Cindy. Thank you, Dr. Abarno.
Good morning, President Clemo, fellow graduates, faculty, staff, family, special guests, and members of the Jivo community. It is an immense honor to be representing the Liberal Arts Department and the English program, as well as my fellow graduates. When we embarked on our college journeys, I am sure that we all had different reasons for choosing Juville. My journey, however, is one that many of you probably won't be able to relate to. As you'll see, our stories are very different. I come from a small island in the Caribbean, while many of you are able to go home on the weekends and do your laundry. I also need a passport to get home. I decided to get into the liberal arts and study English, whereas many of you are preparing for a career in the health field wearing scrubs. I came here unsure what I wanted to do with my life, while well, many of you already knew that you wanted to be a nurse or occupational therapist or whatsoever. One thing we do have in common, however, is our shared experiences here at Juville. Living in the west side of Buffalo, getting coffee at Typico, trudging through three feet of snow to get to classes, 7-Eleven late night meals, and the never ending printing headaches. <laughs> I am also sure that we can all list three to four professors by their first names, and at least one who has influenced our lives very much. That said, I would like to share a story with you today about an experience I've had here with one such professor. So hold on to your caps as we travel back in time for just a moment. Here's the context. It had always been my dream to study in the United States, but my family really didn't want me to go to college. Instead, they wanted me to stay home and take over the family business. So when I came to Juville in the fall of 2013, I already felt immense pressure to do well and to finish in as short a time as possible. For me, failure was not an option. Fast forward to my end, the end of my first semester as a sophomore. I received a C in a biology course I had to take as part of my core curriculum. Even though the course had nothing to do with my major, I was distraught, irrationally, I know. So I did what every upset student would do. I cried to my academic advisor, Dr. McGehee. I burst into her office in tears and told her how my life was over. <laughs> However, she did not hand me a box of tissues as I expected her to. She also did not give me a pep talk. Instead, she asked me what my favorite color was. Dumbfounded, I looked at her blankly and told her it was green. She then took out a green sheet of paper and started cutting it with a pair of scissors. I watched her in silence as she worked, wondering why in the world my crying made her decide to get crafty all of a sudden. <laughs> After she was done, she handed me a roughly cut green letter C. My jaw dropped in disbelief as I thought to myself, this lady is nuts. <laughs> and way to rub it in. <laughs> she looked at me with a smile and told me that I should be proud of this C because I worked hard for it. I thought, indeed I did, but um, I think you're missing the point. It's a C. She then asked, what's the worst thing that will happen with getting this C? I told her that my GPA will drop, to which she replied, does that mean that you have failed? And is it so hard and impossible to accept failure? Suddenly, a memory surfaced in my brain. In my first semester as a freshman, I took an English 111 class with Dr. McGehee, 
and she actually gave me a C minus on my first ever college essay. <laughs> In my mind, I had failed immediately after starting my college career. But then I also remembered how that C minus motivated and pushed me to work even harder. I took that C from Dr. McGehee, went home, and stuck it on my wall. And it is still there today. So let me bring you back to the present. I have looked at that C every day for the past three years. The green C reminds me that here at Juville, we are surrounded by people like her, people who care, people who truly want to see us succeed, not just in school, but in life. And equally important, every time I see that C, I picture Dr. McGehee's encouraging smile, reminding me that it's okay to fail. Now I know many of you are sitting there thinking, she's whining about getting a C in biology. I would have been happy with a C. I know, I'm a nerd. <laughs> but the point I'm trying to make is that it's okay to fail. In fact, it is essential to fail. We learn more from our failures than our successes. For example, I've learned that I never want to take another science course again. <laughs> and trust me, I failed at a lot of things, like writing an engaging graduation speech. I am sure all of you have had the privilege of meeting people here who have consistently and generously given their time and guidance to us, both when we needed the most and even when we thought we didn't. I never would have thought getting that C would encourage and change me as much as it did. It is the little things that members of the juvenile community have done for us that stand out the most. And oftentimes, it is the little things that teach us the most valuable lessons about life. We learn the most about ourselves through our failures, or what we believe those to be. Through failure, we learn not just how to succeed, but how to be ourselves. So my fellow graduates, whatever brought you here to Juville, whatever your struggles in getting here may have been, you are here now because you have persevered and overcome your own set of failures. And I am positive that we could not have gotten to this point without the guidance, care, and support of generous professors, staff members, family, friends, and each other, our fellow classmates. So to belabor this tortured metaphor, as we set sail from the safe harbor of Juville, we prepare ourselves to encounter new tidal waves of ups and downs embarking on our next journey across life's open seas. But be not afraid, as I am confident that our time here at Juville has prepared us to face and overcome these challenges. Today, we celebrate our failures and successes. Embrace them with open arms and welcome the new challenges yet to come, for we are ready. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2017. Thank you, Cindy, for your reflections and your insights. The degrees will now be conferred. Out of respect for all the graduates and their families, the audience is asked to withhold all applause and cheering until all candidates have received their diplomas. I present Dr. Arup Sen, Vice President for Academic Affairs, who will introduce the candidates for degrees. Dr. Sen. Dr. Clemo. It is my privilege to report to you that the candidates assembled here have qualified 
in all respects for baccalaureate, master's, or doctorate degrees by successfully completing curricula offered by the schools of Duval College and have been recommended by the faculty and Board of Trustees to be awarded appropriate degrees in recognition of the academic achievements. I'm pleased to present the candidates here and after to be named who have qualified in all respects for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelors of Science, Combined Bachelors and Masters of Science, Masters of Science, Masters of Business Administration, Doctors of Physical Therapy, Doctor of Chiropractic, Doctors of Pharmacy, Doctors of Nurse Practice, and Doctors of Educational Leadership and Health Policy. Graduates, please stand. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Duville College, I do hereby confer upon these degrees, according to the department in which you have qualified with all honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereunto. Please be seated. School of Arts, Sciences, and Education, Dean Jason Etzit. Mary Catherine Anthony Kumlo. Christina Lynn Bauer. Crystal Lynn Cabrera. Cindy Chin. Paige Cudney. Paige Cudney assisting with the presentation is Sharon Cudney, assistant clinical professor in nursing and Paige's mother. Joseph Norman Franz. Jamila Akila Gittens. Haley Guidi. Jerry Alberto Gutierrez Flores. <laughs> Susan Ray Johnson, cum laude. <laughs> Kaylee Page Jostowski, cum laude. Cheryl Lone Kelly. Mary Catherine Curzon, summa cum laude. Danette Laguerre. Antonio Lassiter, magna cum laude. Jasmine Chanel McKelvin. Colby Mears. Jadalyn Bowl, cum laude.
Delcina Renee Muldrow. Kirsty Lee Petrie. <laughs> Justin Rayner. <laughs> Dela O. Kara. <laughs> Anisa Ciara Williams. Bachelor of Science, Heather Atsid, summa cum laude. Heather M. Bahia. Zachary Maynard Blask. Stephen Patrick Brooks, Jr., cum laude. <laughs> Patrick James Burke. Marcus William Clark. Christian Nelson Colon. Michael Davis, summa cum laude. Toma Dital. Courtney Lynn Fox. Michael Stephen Gillen. Elizabeth Hartnett. Erin Carnett. <laughs> Selena Kernan. Brandon Michael Kibler. Lauren Elizabeth Kudela, <coughs> Magnum Cum Laude. Joshua Robert Lamper, Magna Cum Laude. Patrick Leslie. Bukola Malia. Sharbel Mansour. Travis Martin. Adrian Mikio, magna cum laude. Justin Nephew. Michael Pagels, cum laude. Philip A. Pennypen, summa cum laude. Thomas Petrie, magna cum laude. Matthew Michael Patrician.
Kevin L. Reyes. Lisa Ann Rodriguez. Lashade Savannah Rosenthal. Laura Beth Shannon, cum laude. Lori Skolarski. Tegan Amanda Stozarsek. Uzumaka Iktonaya Uwecha. Samantha Van Ecker. Ashley Nicole Whittington. Frank Joseph Wilhock. Daniel Wilson. Aaron Daniel Zelko. Bachelor and Master of Science. Jonathan Stephen Jamerwick, magna cum laude. Kurt Von Kohler. Matthew Los Cum Laude. Nicole Marie McGuire. Smayo Medvedovic. Lydia Caitlin Manin. Master of Science, Leah Ashton. Lisa M. Baldwin. Micah Colbert. Amanda Da Silva. Dan Oldes Donovskis. Brother James J. Doyle. Ariana Brittany Harvin Mehegis. Joshua Legg. Kristen Brittany Leslie. Sania Mehadovic. Thomas Molnar. Christy Nasser. Alice Juano. (laughs) 
Emily Pope. Michelle R. Reese. Elizabeth M. Rokitka. Jana Sikowski. Alexandria Simonetti. Stephanie Stankov. Christina M. Stump. Mary C. Sutton, Mary Sutton, assisting with the presentation is Ben Randall, Director of Veterans Affairs, and Mary's brother. Chelsea Tarasek. <laughs> Ashley Elise Turner. <laughs> Adam Utasi. Master of Business Administration, Darkus Vera, Darkus Ajaloko. Christine Daniel. Joshua Fabi. Kelly Gurna. <laughs> Elizabeth Lampka. Sunita Malhotra. Stefan Compton Mendoza. <laughs> Bianca Rodriguez. <laughs> Mary Sasso. <laughs> Chanda White. School of Art, Science, and Education, please applaud. <laughs> School of Health Professions, Dean Maureen Finney. Ashley Bear, magna cum laude. Kylin Emmeline Bank, cum laude. Samuel Walter Barone. Denise Bruce, magna cum laude. Alexandra Lynn Cochran, summa cum laude. Oh, 
Hasti A. Dave. Gabriel Dimadet. Janelle Nicole Duxbury Summa Cum Laude. <coughs> Samuel Watchett. <laughs> Anthony Joseph Forcucci. Kayla Ann Ford. Alicia Mary Fortunato. Kamala Kimiri. Jessica Hainsworth. <laughs> Jason Russell David Hart, cum laude. Oluwakemi Hassan. Philip Jenk, cum laude. <laughs> Mark Allen Jorgensen. David Michael Keppel. Brett A. Matthews. Serena Milioto. Christopher Naipaul. <coughs> Jade M. Nolan. Panisha Pradhan, magna cum laude. <coughs> Louis Quinn Reynolds, summa cum laude. Mary Patricia Roberts. Christopher R. Rumpel. Emily Rose Rossillo. Bayoni Jamar Salinas. Leon M. Shard. Christine Marie Siebert, summa cum laude. Ashley Sokol. <laughs> Alexandra Nicole Stewie, magna cum laude. Trevor Bruce Taggart. Trevor Taggart, assisting with the presentation is Beverly Taggart, Assistant Director of Pharmacy Admissions and Trevor's mother.
Ely Ta. Clarissa Torres. Diana Ventura. Chen Zhao. Bachelor and Masters of Science, Julianne Aquino. Autumn Rose Atkinson. <laughs> Alexandra Bovey, assisting with the presentation, is Joanne Bovey, administrative assistant in pharmacy, and Alexandra's mother. <laughs> Brittany Ann Broad. Caitlin Nicole Brooker, cum laude. Yeah. Hannah Byrne. Yeah. Gabriel Comneri, cum laude. Karen Michelle Darden, magna cum laude. Jordan Elizabeth David, summa cum laude. Christina Ray D'Angelo. Taylor DePero. Laura Domlaski, cum laude. Yeah. <laughs> Alyssa Ray Doringer, cum laude. Yeah. Jocelyn Isley. Yeah. Abigail Elizabeth Fox. Ariel Kirsten Hober, cum laude. <laughs> Melissa Goggins. <laughs> Sophia Hilaris. <laughs> Cynthia Jade Halliday. Emily A. Hart, cum laude. Victoria Holke. Marissa May Holihan. Carmen Ho, magna cum laude. Ashley Lynn Ledwin. Ashley, Rosanna Lee. Abby Rose Lighton. Yeah. Connie Yuanling Liang. Kaylee Elizabeth Martin, cum laude. Morgan and Micah, magna cum laude. Taylor S. Myers. Yeah. 
Yen no. Melissa Peplowski. Sarah Persuti. Mariah Lee Petrasek. <laughs> Olivia Rose Roach, cum laude. <laughs> Natalie Saba, magna cum laude. <laughs> Joelle Murray Sawyer, cum laude. Emily Schockner. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Scordo, cum laude. <laughs> Aaron Kathleen Smith, cum laude. Jennifer Mary Spores, cum laude. <laughs> Laura Taylor, magna cum laude. Amanda Marie Vedder, summa cum laude. Catherine Margaret Vedder, summa cum laude. Robert Kurt Welker, magna cum laude. Melanie Welker, cum laude. Lauren Wisnowski, magna cum laude. Christine Marie Walnowitz. Kelsey Grace Zaudensky, cum laude. Mary Catherine Zilanka, cum laude. Amanda J. Zomek. Masters of Science. Kara Marie Aquila. Sarah Marie Anderson. Lauren Bates. Tara Ann Chemilewski. Lindsay Eddingfield. Kelsey Farmer. Kelsey Farmer. Alyssa Kathleen Gavin. <laughs> Sophie Catherine Gobick. Caitlin Ann Hager. Ann Hamilton. Brian Kenneth Heckler. Claire Elizabeth Houghton. Natalie Ann Hutchins. Aliyah Irby.
Ian, A-I-Z? Ty and A Ivies. Asia Latrice, Latrice, okay. Asia Latrice Kersey. <laughs> Kayla Keppel. <laughs> Allison Barbara Laske. Tracy M. Klosek Lobenstein. Astrid. Astrid Leonard. Akira Mirage. Caitlin Marie Maxwell. Justin Daniel Morelli. Daniel Nicole Miles. Vonda Michelle Moore. Laura V. Chavez Nalola. Nakira, Nakiruka, Sylvia Okafor. Nakiruka, Sylvia Okafor. Christy Don Palazzo. Caitlin Ann Parisi. Caitlin Rabido. Courtney Lee Rentschler. Joseph Schroeder. Caitlin Elizabeth Sexton. Jennifer Silla. Alexandra Vuletic. Philip John Whitehus. Rachel Wortman. Nancy Yamowa. Janelle Reed. Dr. Megan Hendel. Megan is also receiving Megan is also receiving her MBA today. Doctor of Education, Dr. Olomari Rosaline Adewa. Dr. Colleen Ellen Delaney. Dr. Matthew S. Hamilton.
Doctor of Physical Therapy, Dr. Serena Louise Adams. Dr. Ahmad Akhtar. Dr. Bradley Robert Bacall. Dr. Patrick Donald Barber. Dr. Renee Binner. Dr. Maria Christina Boyce. Dr. Mark Boylan. Dr. Jacqueline Elise Burns. Dr. Sierra D. Bush. Dr. Denzel Cherry. Dr. Patrick Donald Coster. Dr. Marie Michaela Crawford. Dr. Lauren Jessica Daniel. Dr. Micaiah Downing. Dr. Robert Lee Felber. Dr. Erica Christine Fitzgerald. Dr. Travis Furman. Dr. Maria Margaret Fusco. Dr. Cody M. George. Dr. Dara Gill. Dr. Daniel Hubbard. Dr. Jane Elizabeth Krotzak. Dr. Charlene Rose Lichada. Dr. Michael James Mangiarelli. Dr. Matthew Lyndon Marshall. Dr. Tina Mamarzet. Dr. Samantha Ann Mercury. Dr. Michael John Mika. Dr. Kelsey Ann Mitri. Dr. Shannon Marie O'Brien. Dr. Matthew O'Donnell.
Dr. Darby Terence O'Rourke. Dr. Juman Park. Dr. Dara S. Patel. Dr. Lisa Christine Petty. Dr. Sarah L. Fan. Dr. Dan Stephen Popke. Dr. Ahmad Rajab Zadeh Aspima. Dr. Heather Lucille Roberts. Dr. Mark Schweisford. Dr. Amanda Grace Serafini. Dr. Christine Marie Shea. Dr. Andrew Sergi. Dr. Matthew, Matthew Kevin Smith. Dr. Andrew Lawrence Smith. Dr. Jade Sambumtham. Dr. Laura Beth Spall. Dr. Jeffrey Paul Spores. Dr. Christopher Temple. Dr. Benjamin Vanek. Dr. Kelsey Van Volkenberg. Dr. Anna Yufa. Please join me in the graduates of School of Health Professions. <laughs> School of Nursing, Dean Judith Lewis. Hannah Ababio. Stephanie Asentewa Adu. Myrony Franchel Ibar. Rebecca Alvira. Lauren Barber. Casey Bartels. Jordan Nicole Berenger. La Portia Black. Ashley Marie Boyce, cum laude. Allison Elizabeth Bolton. Liar Renee Bradley. Oh, 
Joseph Alexander Brown, summa cum laude. Sydney A. Buno, cum laude. <laughs> Kenya M. Canales. <laughs> Caitlin Carney. Eliza Chan, cum laude. Lauren Elise Sharpelli. <laughs> Mahoro Claudine. Yeah. Madison Cox. Charles Degault, cum laude. Jacob De Peters. Alyssa Rose Donnelly. Kayla Elizabeth Eckert. Catherine Ann Fenster, cum laude. Olivia Marie Feruza, cum laude. Christine E. Finnegan, cum laude. Courtney Jolyn Fletcher. Holly Gasaki, summa cum laude. Allison Elizabeth Clowney. <coughs> Ashley Gablowski, cum laude. Shantanaya Simone Green. Emma Jean Hartman, cum laude. Chelsea Lynn Heyman. Melanie Amber Hoffman. Azia Howard. Lindsay Johnson. Tara Elizabeth Judah, cum laude. Michelle Mary Karniski. Mackenzie T. Kellenbeck. Erin Elizabeth King. Stacy Ann Kerner, magna cum laude. Shannon Marie Cryman. Michelle Lambert Puslasny, summa cum laude. Vanessa Marine Latuka. Melissa A. Lavieri. Nick, 
Nicole Marie Laviere. Lisa Loba. Gloria Catherine Marino. Elena Ray Mercado. Cynthia Susan Miller, cum laude. Amanda Bray Muziel. <laughs> Tasha Rose Myers Cum Laude. Sarah Nielsen. Jordan Elizabeth Ober. Megan Ann Patterson, cum laude. Samantha Bala Fole. Laura Phillips. Christine Ann Pickard. Jillian Pinuski, Daniel Marie Privetti. Daniel is also receiving a second degree in Health Services Management. Martha Debbie Prisblack. Chelsea Ann Playo. Julia Mary Riley. Julia Savella. Crystal Seeger. Mora Ann Seitz, summa cum laude. Pema Gyalmo Sherpa, cum laude. Kelly Sizaga. Kelly Quyton Sizaga, assisting with the presentation is Megan Harmon, Associate Director of Undergraduate Admissions and Kelly's cousin. Angela Slade. Megan Lynn Slowinski. Alexandria Sloan. Allison Lee Smith. Nicole Daniel Spores. Brooke Ann Star Cum Laude. Jeffrey Stoltman Cum Laude. Mary Elizabeth Straker, cum laude. No, Kaylin Rochelle Zakel. Rebecca Dina Thompson. Santina Marie Tollar. Cassidy Ray Trippy, cum laude. Oops. 
Elizabeth Mary Utz. Paulina Maria Weber. Alexandra Weldy. Brittany Ray Wells, cum laude. Hannah L. Windsor, magna cum laude. Olynthia Sharon Whitfield. <laughs> Master of Science, Janice Ladia Asia. Erna Amoa. Anna Maria Amode. Anna Maria Amode assisting with the presentation is Dr. Robert Leopold, Associate Dean and Chair of Pharmacy Practice, and Anna Maria's husband. <laughs> Alexandra Billy. Brianna Burt. Taylor Ann Chamberlain. Francesca Cyrilly. Jacqueline M. Dana. Kathleen D. Castro. Erin L. DeMarco. Samantha J. Dombrowski. Jill Marie Hector. Teresa Ann Pagatti. <laughs> Latasha Gardner. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Gatman. Holly Ann Greiner. Rachel Naomi Hasley. Hudo Abdi. Hudo Abdi Ibrahim. Bahar Igani. Bahar Igani. Samarine Kaur. Stacy Nicola Kent. Kylan Leanne Korzenski. Megan Crone. Christina Marie Kurtansek. Sabrina Marie Marlowe. <laughs> Maria Mashi.
Chelsea Lynn McKenna. Catherine A. Merlin. Courtney Mercer. Megan Mogabra. Leanne Pierce. Emily L. Fentner. Renee Robbins Yunkin. Anna M. Rosenberger. Don Marie Stefania. Jennifer Ann Strahan. Daryl Lindsay Trapper. Jillian Trahey. Brandy N. Bile. John Harold Walpole. Amber N. Williams. Patricia Walnowitz. Sarah N. Wren. Gita Tulochinova. Doctor of Nursing Practice, Dr. Tina Marie Kane. Dr. Ellen Marie Gretzinger. Please join me in congratulating the School of Nursing graduates. School of Pharmacy, Dean Kenyo Morasco. Dr. Kasim Mohammed Abdul. Dr. Oindamola Adebayo. Dr. Ailey Ahn. Dr. Youngjin Ahn. Dr. La Khan Bak. Dr. Danell M. Beckert. Dr. Diane Catherine Bowfinger. Dr. Jared Scott Bogardas. Dr. Sean Boone. Dr. Brittany A. Burke.
Dr. Jessica Ann Butaji. Dr. Sierra Caballeri. Dr. Anthony John Catalano. Dr. Devlin M. Shaboi. Dr. Jessica M. Saihaki. Dr. Harrison Savine. Dr. Megan Alicia Coca. Dr. Kevil Desai. Dr. Lauren Elizabeth Donahue. Dr. Brittany Doyle. Dr. Olatundun Olawen. Dr. Christine Anna Ectenkamp. Dr. Austin Enser. Dr. Joseph Geraci. Dr. Joseph Graber. Dr. Jacob Haynes. Dr. Allison M. Hall. Dr. Jacqueline Mary Haley. Dr. Amy Lynn Hermowick. Dr. Anthony Hape Wynn. Dr. Courtney Marion Jarka. Dr. Scott Stephen Jarmus. Dr. Daniel Marie Johnson. Dr. Daniel N. Kirshner. Dr. Patrick Finbar Kassain. Dr. Rebecca Klein. Dr. Zethan Daniel Koch. Dr. Jessica Marie Kresman. Dr. Sullivan Stephen Landino. Dr. Adam Charles Lindell. Dr. J Jacob Joseph Maziars. Dr. Christopher McEnany. Dr. Anna S. Preston. Dr. Ranald J. Randall J. Naprala. Dr. Mallory Oteski. Dr. 
Dr. Emmanuel Oduro. Dr. Sean Michael Powers. Dr. Dana M. Ronaldo. Dr. Anthony James Robertson. Dr. Catherine Teresa Rutowski. Dr. Melissa Nicole Scarangella. Dr. Maxwell Joseph Schmidt. Dr. Sarah N. Schreckengast. Dr. Colby John Sifkovitz. Dr. Brendan Richard Sorrento. Dr. Justin S. Taylor. Dr. Kyle Thomas Taylor. What's up, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mega G. Thomas. By, by Dr. Daniel Martin Viverberg. Dr. David Gerald Waskowski. Dr. Alexis White. Dr. Lauren Elizabeth Waiter. Dr. Jennifer Lynn Wingard. Dr. Renee Michelle Zakowitz. Dr. Michael Philip Zeng. Please join me in welcoming all the graduates. A final, a final ceremonial tradition. The turning of the tassel on the graduation cap acknowledges the conferral of degrees. Graduates, to signify achievement of baccalaureate and graduate status in the academic community, I now ask all degree recipients to rise and share in the ceremony. Graduates, please move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations. Please be seated. Graduates, you are now alumni, alumna of DeUville College.
Thank you, graduates, for giving us the chance to be such a large part of your lives. In return, you've been part of our lives, and we are truly, truly grateful. You are now part of the history, one that began over 100 years ago, when the Grey Nuns, naming this institution after their patron saint, Marguerite de Uville, wanted to give women an opportunity to earn a baccalaureate degree. The very first semester had nine women enrolled. As you can see, looking around this room, we've grown a little since then. Today, we are 3,000 students strong. But at the core, the same spirit de Uville that, was, that we were founded on in 1908 remains. To teach students knowledge and compassion, how to lead productive lives, to be better people, to give of yourselves as you would want others to give to you. And it may sound cliche, but we believe it to be true, to make the world a better place. As alumni, you're part of a legacy. We hope you will cherish, that you will nourish, that you will spread unique to you will experience wherever you go. We'll always be here for you. The college, the alumni association, your favorite professors. Can we give them a round of applause? and a memorable shared experience. We hope all of you will stay in touch, that you will contribute your time, talent, and treasure, and that you visit. Please do not be a stranger. Thank you for being part of our history, and congratulations to all of our graduates. You made it. We wish you Godspeed. And to close out the 2017 commencement cer ceremony, we will have the benediction followed by the signing of the alma mater, singing of the alma mater. <laughs> <laughs> the benediction will be delivered by Dr. G. John M. Abarno, Professor of Philosophy. Let us pray that the God of wisdom and harmony bless you on this day of your academic accomplishments as you embark on pathways beyond the halls of Devo College. For this milestone, we acknowledge your awards. We also give thanks for your family, friends, faculty, staff, administrators, and others near or distant who have supported your efforts along this way. At this moment, we take pride in the character each of you will display in the world as your journey continues. And should you encounter setbacks as life may present, think back on this day of celebration for a source of confidence in your knowing of your own ability to surmount any challenge. May your journey be blessed with courage and integrity so that what you believe will be what you do. Instill hope in those less fortunate. Be beacons of faith and reason to improve humanity, ennobling each other toward a more truthful, peaceful, and loving community. We ask that God's blessings be upon you a lifetime echoing of goodwill. Amen.
like to thank Lorraine McDonald for the uh, singing of the uh, alma mater. She is the managing director of our Kevin Oakey Theater. Thank you, Lorraine. <laughs>